Howdy all you buckaroos, it's time to learn how God loves you. So come on now, get out of your pew. Eric's got a great children's message for you. Boy, howdy. Good morning, how are we doing? Good. All right, how rainy was it out there, just out of curiosity? Just came in. Just drizzly, not too bad. Okay, very good. All right, uh, so would you say it was sprinkling or drizzly? Is there a difference? Drizzly, okay, very good. All right, is that... Drizzling's harder than spring. This is a question I've had a lot about Oregonians. I'm not really certain which is which. All right, so I thought we'd start with a little science experiment. So I'm going to need three volunteers. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. Eric, you can join us up here. Uh, Anna, you can join us. And we'll take Lena. That sounds good. So stand on up and walk over here. My three volunteers. Very good. Oh, oh, we got more. Okay, very nice. Fun how that works. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. Uh, you guys, uh, Wesley and Joseph, you stand next to Anna there. Very good. Okay, actually, that'll work. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, Lita, you're going to start us off. I want you to stand on top of that box, please, to see what happens. Just, yeah, just, just step on it. Hold. There you go. Oh, that's sad. Very good. Okay, Eric, come on and go do this one here. We'll find out. I don't know. Okay, that's also crushed. Pretty good. Okay, Anna, go for this one. Oh, look at that. Both feet. Very good. Okay, stand off. Okay, very good. Wesley, come here. Stand there. Oh, oh, a little bit. You opened it. Okay, go over this way. Josie, come here. Take a step on that one. Oh, very nice. We got one more. Sorry, what is your name, sir? Come here. Come here, come here. Step on that. There you go. So that's one, two, three. People have already stepped in the box. It's still fine. Oh, we have a different technique. Very nice. Okay, very good, very good. Well done. All right, come off here. Hmm, interesting. So these two, they're, they're crushed. They're pretty bad, right? But what about this one? It's not. It's not. Why? I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can't, yeah. Let's not force it. But yeah, it crushed. So, can't crush, can't crush like those. Yeah, what's inside of this one? You think there's something in there? I don't know. No, there's nothing in there. I think there's something in there. Why don't you look inside? Yeah, pull out what's, pull out what's in there. Flashlights. Yeah, turn them on. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to wave them around. There might be, yeah. Yeah, it's on the side. That's weird, huh? Very good, yeah. Does it work? Oh, it seems to be working. Yeah, there's, it works different ways. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Feel, yeah. Why do you guys like flashlights? Oh, okay, because it helps you when you're in the dark. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah, it can go up there, huh? That's pretty cool, huh? Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And some people, they say that God is like, or Jesus is the light of the world. Why do you think maybe they would say that? Hmm. Does, does Jesus help us to see? Does he help us see God's love? Yeah. All right, why don't I take the lights back? It seems like it's going to be a distraction from here on out. Okay, very good. This is fun, though. You can figure it out? Okay. It's hard to turn them off. You're always turning something else on. Thank you. You figured it out. Well done. You're very smart. Good job. Oh, sorry. I'm surprised you didn't, you guys didn't show it in the crowd as much as I would have guessed. Anyway, so uh, God is a little bit like this flashlight. Also, inside, when they were inside of here, what did they do? Yeah, they kept it steady and they kept it strong. I'm sorry. You want to come through? And uh, so it's helpful. What's inside of you is very important. If there's nothing inside of you, you're pretty weak. But if you have God inside of you, you are very strong, right? Yeah, so we're thankful that we have God inside of us. And he shines out, right? In fact, that's kind of what it talks about in the reading that I just shared. But I'm going to give it to you from the children's Bible uh, that we use at Vacation Bible School. It's coming up here soon. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 4. It says, we do not preach about ourselves. We're not talking about how great we are. Instead, we preach about Jesus. And we preach that we are your servants for Jesus. God once said, let the light shine out of the darkness. That's what you said about the flashlights. And this is, it's it's a microphone. The one at first service, it died. So we had to get a new one. So it's a little bit different. Anyway, and this is the same God who made his light shine in our hearts. He gave us light by letting us know the glory of God that is in the face of Christ. We have this treasure from God. We are only like clay jars that hold the treasure, kind of like a cardboard box, right? This shows that this great power is from God, not from us. We have troubles all around us. Things jump on us from time to time, but we are not defeated. We do not know what to do, but we do not give up because we know that Jesus is in us. And so the the world will try to crush you. Bad things will happen in your life, but Jesus will strengthen you. He will shine out from inside of you as you depend on him through good times and bad times. He will see you through. And for that, 
We're thankful and we want to pray to God. So, uh, repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Thank, you thank you for being our strength. When we are weak, when we are weak. Shine, throughout shine throughout our lives and through our brokenness. And as people said, Amen. Oh man, thanks for coming forward, guys, and helping out. Turn your seats. Bye, bye, bye.